All right, so let's work a little bit on shot shaping with our drivers. And I alluded to this in another reel I did last week, actually, which means shot shaping without changing your swing, because again, with the driver, we don't want to have any swing thoughts, any technical swing thoughts. We want to make sure that it's all done in the setup. So I'm just going to increase my T-head here a little bit because I pushed that down before to show you guys what happens, what you should do if there is, you know, into the wind. So I'm going to lift this a little bit again so we can actually hit some shots here. And I want to talk about shaping your shot a little bit. And again, this is a little bit of a module that is more for the advanced player. I do realize this, but you know, there really isn't a reason why even a beginner or an amateur shouldn't know about this and these little tricks because we're all here to get better. And once you get better and better and better, you may already have these little tools in your toolbox. And that's why I'm here for. I want to make sure that you guys get the tools, all the tools possible for you guys to improve and to keep improving, right? So. I want to make sure that we look at the setup again. So when we recap this really quickly, what we talked about the ball position on my front big toe, we have a little bit of a K position, bump the hip towards the target, drop your right shoulder down a little bit, make sure these joints are a little bit lower, lower than these joints right here. Neutral hands, head stays still. And now if we want to actually hit a little bit more of a draw, we don't change anything here at all. Everything I just did stays the exact same. Everything we walk through and talk through stays the same. But I will actually aim my body, my feet and my shoulders and my torso a little bit more to the right while I keep my actual face of the club the same. So I'm still aiming at the target right here, but I've actually closed my body a little bit more and you can see that a lot better from down the line view. So I've closed my body a little bit and then I'm going to just swing along my body lines, which is going to allow me to swing more into out. And that's what's going to help us actually shape that ball more of a draw, more right to left. Everything else still applies. Tiny little draw. I changed nothing in my swing, but I simply changed my setup. So let's do the same thing on a shot that works more left to right. Same concept applies. We want to do a medium T height, 50, 50 over and on the face, as we discussed. And now I'm going to set up again, same checkpoints, ball position, K position, hand position, grip and head, making sure all that is good. And then I'm going to open my stance a little bit. So I'm aiming a little bit more left of the target. I'm also going to open my shoulders a little bit and I'm going to keep my club face pointing at the target, no change. And all I need to do now is swing along my body and that's going to promote a much more out to in motion because my shoulders are pointing this way. So if I simply take my hands straight back in relation to my shoulders, it's going to go more out to in, which is going to help us hit that little fade. So my body is open a little bit more. Nothing else changes. And there you have your little fade. So this is super useful, simple tips, really only adjust your setup, keep your face, your club face pointed at the target and make sure you swing along your body lines. And that's how you can simply shape your driver on the course, give it some tries, do it on the range, visualize these shots. Maybe there's a dog leg to your left, dog leg right that you don't like, or that you're kind of fighting the curve and the shape of the hole. Give this a try and I think you'll really enjoy it.